The Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is back in Yorkshire tonight. It's his third visit since the general election was called and a sign that Yorkshire is a big draw for the political parties. Yes, big crowds turned out in Hebden Bridge and Leeds to see him today. Our political reporter James Vincent joined us from Leeds now. Uh, James, when Jeremy Corbyn uh, was in the city last week, his reception was described as something of a pop star's welcome. How was it from today? Yeah, exactly right. If anybody tells you uh, politics is boring, they weren't in Leeds this afternoon. There was a huge crowd here. He'd, he'd been in Hebden Bridge earlier in the day and the crowds there were so big he had to do two speeches, one inside the venue and one outside the venue. The crowds in Leeds, there was a, a few thousand people here in Leeds this afternoon. A young population here, mainly student area, a lot of young people out on the streets. Uh, really interesting to hear what he said. But just the amount of people on the streets, I've not heard that sort of reaction, that sort of chanting since I was down the road at Headingley watching England in the, in the one day. Uh, let's have a listen and a, and a look at now his reception as he got off the battle bus here in Leeds. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for those on the roof over there. Thank you for those on the tree over there. It was amazing, people hanging on to lampposts, hanging on to trees, thousands of people in the street here in Hyde Park to see him speak. We caught up with some of the people that were, were lining uh, Queen's Road here, just to ask them why they'd come out to see the Labour leader. We saw it on Facebook and we decided to come down and show our support. Never seen crowds like this before, ever. Ed Miliband came, Gordon Brown came, I've never seen crowds like this, ever. Man of the people, simple as that, <laughs> simple as that. I'm just here because Jeremy Corbyn seems to be the best choice for the NHS in particular. I'm a medical student and I'll be working as a doctor next year. So um, he's the best man for the NHS. A lot of people that don't trust politics anymore because of the lies, the deception, but he's one person who stayed true to his ideals. Now, by anyone's standards, that was a remarkable reaction today, James. What has he been talking about, though? Well, he knew his audience today, Harry, as I say, a student area, a young crowd here in Leeds today. And he trotted out the, the, the playlist of student anthems, student favourites. He was talking about ending tuition fees. He was talking about ending zero hour contracts and making sure the living wage was £10 for everybody. He also said, wait for tomorrow. We'll have the manifesto out. Never mind the leaks. We'll have it out properly tomorrow. And you can see that all these promises are fully costed in his words. It reminded me a lot of uh, Nick Clegg before the 2010 election. He held a huge rally in Sheffield City Centre. He had the support of students then. Jeremy Corbyn seems to have that in Leeds at the moment and he's making a trademark of these stump speeches, old school campaigning on the stump. It's something that Theresa May has not been doing a great deal of. Her events have been typified by her having a lot of party members around her. Some factory workers as we saw last week but not really big public events. I think there's more of this to come.